Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of Saints Cosmas and Damian, two martyrs of the early church, examples of uh, perseverance in faith, even to the point of shedding their blood for the faith. And so we ask the Lord to give us that same strength in witnessing to our faith in the present day. Let us therefore bring before our Lord our sins, those times when we have failed to live our faith as we should, and let, we ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May you be magnified, O Lord, by the revered memory of your saints Cosmos and Damien. For with providence beyond words, you have conferred on them everlasting glory and on us your unfailing help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice, O young man, while you are young, and let your heart be glad in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart, the vision of your eyes. Yet understand that as regard all this, God will bring you to judgment. Word of grief from your heart and put away trouble from your presence. Through the dawn of youth is preaching. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come and years approach, of which you will say, I have no pressure in them. Before the sun is darkened, and the light, and the moon, and the stars, while the clouds return after the rain, when the guardians of the house tremble, and the strong men are bent, and grinders are idle because they are few, and they who look through the windows grow blind, when the doors to the street are shut, and the sound of the mill is low, when everyone waits for the chirp of a bird, but all the daughters of song are suppressed, and one fears heights and perils in the street, when the almond tree blooms, and the locust grows sluggish, and the caperberry is without effect, because man goes to his lasting home. And mourners go about the streets. Before the silver cord is snapped, and the golden bowl is broken, and the pitcher is shattered at the spring, and the broken pulley falls into the well, and the dust returns to the earth as it once was, and the life breath returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, says that all things are vanity. The word of the Lord. Oh. Let it be our response in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. 
you turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight, are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wills and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. In every age, age O Lord, Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Christ Jesus destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While they were all amazed at his every deed, Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was hidden from them, so that they should not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, Ecclesiastes is just a... Uh, a ball of fun, isn't he? <laughs> In this first reading, he, uh, uh, where the author is telling us that all things are vanity because death is the ultimate end. And um, he starts by saying, you know, enjoy your youth because pretty soon you're going to be old and uh, you'll have death staring you uh, in the face. And uh, it was funny the other day, uh, one of my sisters texted me. She said that... Uh, her son, her, who's a little boy, he's, he's a big Beatles fan, and he was listening to the song, When I'm 64. And so uh, all of my sisters were uh, texting back and forth how close they were to uh, being 64. Well, I finally jumped in and said, I'm five months away from being 64. So, uh, but, you know, uh, if I were to, to you know, I mean, the, the Ecclesiastes here gives us like five or six different uh, metaphors for uh, dying. It's kind of like if I were to give a homily and I would just say, well, you know, all of us are going to be pushing up daisies one day. All of us are going to be six feet under. You know, all of us will have to pay the, the ferry. And just using on and on these dark images about uh, death and age, you know, we it would probably be the worst homily of my life. And y'all wouldn't want to hear that. Um, but I guess the idea here is to continue to uh, impress upon us how important each moment of this life is, and that, uh, yes, God will one day call us to his judgment seat, and that means we have to be ready and prepared for that. Um, and that's why I think the responsorial psalm is given to us in all of that. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. That's not just saying in every age of humanity, but in every age of our own lives, he is our refuge. Now, whether it is in the uh, confusion of youth or in the desperation of illness or in uh, the, the nearness of, of death, he is the one we turn to. And that's also why I think our um, Alleluia response, our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. In other words, uh, the church kind of offsets that darkness of Ecclesiastes with a little bit of light and hope there for us. And uh, in our gospel today, we see this continuation of Jesus telling his disciples 
what must happen to him for us to have everlasting life. And uh, I think just as we saw them kind of uh, panic at first and, you know, no, don't let that happen, Lord. Don't, we'll, we'll stop that. We'll prevent that. Um, now it's kind of settling in that that's going to be the way. So much so that I think it's too much for them to handle, which is why they just kind of shut off. They don't want to, to try and talk about it or, or think about it or dwell on it. And that's why it says they just uh, were afraid to ask him about it. You know, what does that mean? It's too terrible for us to even contemplate. But that was the way in which the Lord brought salvation to the whole world. And uh, for us, it's... Uh, oh, moment of rejoicing. We grieve that that was um, the, what happened to the Lord. Um, I was thinking about that in terms of our saints today, Cosmos and Damien, uh, persecuted for their faith. We might think that that's something that only happened those thousands of years ago when the church was in its infancy, but we still see around the world a great persecution of uh, the Christian faith. And sometimes the persecution is a, a subtle one that's even worse than threatening people's lives or taking people's lives. I think there's a, a persecution that puts Catholics down for their faith. We're seeing that particularly sometimes in our political arena, where because we believe what we believe, we believe in the sanctity of life, we believe uh, in um, that, that life is God's to give, and certainly not ours to take, that we are marginalized and uh, ridiculed and put to the side and attacked for that faith. And that, that kind of persecution, brothers and sisters, can be even worse than uh, when people come for our lives because we can find the courage in a moment to stand up to that and say, this is wrong. Sometimes we don't find the courage to say, no, my beliefs are my beliefs. I have every right to hold those beliefs and every right to act upon those beliefs, even in the political arena. And so, brothers and sisters, let us turn to our Heavenly Father now with our prayers of petition. We turn to our Creator and loving God with these prayers. For the leaders of the church, may the Holy Spirit Continue to sustain and inspire them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the world, may God guide all people in their efforts to combat and great global health threats. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, especially those who are struggling with chronic illnesses, anxiety or depression, and for those who care for them, let us Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our local community, for all who work, ensure its health and safety, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of the saints, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for the departed soul of Mary Lucas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us also bring our special intentions and prayers before the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, <clears throat> for through your goodness we have received the, this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. In honor of the precious death of your just ones, O Lord, we come to offer that sacrifice from which all martyrdom draws its origin, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of, in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only you say the word, and my soul shall be here. Let us pray. Preserve in us your gift, O Lord, and may what we have received at your hands as we commemorate the martyrs, Saints Damian and Cosmos, bring us healing, salvation, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.